these types of people will like complain about two things they'll try to say that you never actually cared if it's like if you took the black logo off of your twitter or instagram account after the blm protest uh, mostly died down or they'll say that you're like a bad person to begin with because you're you like you're an activist so you'll never listen to anybody so you're mean and bad and dumb instead like so like which which one is it guys we're back to reacting i spent a couple of days looking around doing some stuff chilling out and i was like you know what i want to get back to reacting we've been doing a lot of time putting together segments i've been spending time doing like research and thinking and all this type of like lame loser stuff and i just decided i asked the people a little while ago you know what do you want me to do what do you want to see more from me and everybody just said reaction they were like i'm tired of you like putting together segments and you know writing little mini scripts and all of this type of stuff to talk about specific issues can you just like react to a youtube video so you know what i got you why woke activists will never stop because they're right i am a woke activist and i will never stop because that's the point of an activist. Why would you stop if you were an activist? You'd be a slacktivist then. The the literal point of you being an activist is to advocate. But I don't know. Let's see. Why is Dylan Mulvaney here? She's literally just a TikToker. I don't know, but we'll see. I released a video asking the question, what the hell is going on since Western culture is embroiled in a great battle over policies like language, women's sports and spaces, education, and most importantly, children. At the front lines of this all too important battle are the notorious woke activists. Here's my thing. I feel like there isn't really a battle going on. You know what I mean? There's no battle going on the same way that there's no battle going on between like you and your neighbor when the, your neighbor like throws trash over your, oh, oh, like over the fence. You know what I mean? Like, would you really call it a battle if, like, your neighbor throws trash over your fence and then you go, hey, stop throwing trash over my fence, and then they just throw more trash over the fence, and then you go, S stop? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a battle. Like, they made it, like, maybe in, like, the conservatives and, like, weirdo anti wokeite minds, they, they think it's, a like, some crazy battle going on. I'm just chilling. They're, they're, like, they have this whole idea of this whole epic war going on for the future of this, that, like, I'm just... I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> a lot of people who are like, who are these supposed woke activists are just kind of normal people who just don't like it when you're like mean to their friends who may be gay. I think that's basically the whole thing that's going on right now. Yeah, they're more annoying. I, like they may think of it as a war. I think of it as just like stopping people who are being annoying and mean. And that's basically it. It's not, it's no, it's no war. There are no troops or anything. Maybe some weirdo right wingers want to make it like that because they're like sending I don't know, because, like, right-wingers are doing a bunch of, like, hate crimes and calling in bomb threats and all that type of stuff. I'm chilling, bro. This is, These things are much different. Over the last few years, protests... Ah, uh, yes, the important issue of women's sports. I know, right? Like, <clears throat> none of these people care about women's sports. They all, like, laugh at women when, when women do... Women. Isn't it, like, the big conservative meme to, like, clown on women doing women's sports? Don't conservatives lo only like women's sports when they wear short pants and they could like jerk off to them jumping up and down like in, like, in their sports? They they laugh at women for having low ratings in their sports. They laugh at women for not being able to, you know, throw ball as hard or fast as men in their sports. They like they literally like didn't Gideon like a big, big weirdo um, prank prankster YouTuber just get in trouble for spending money to go to a WNBA game to buy front row ticket seats only to sleep in the in in in, in, in the front row to make a point about how stupid f filthy females are thinking that they should that they like people would ever want to watch them play basketball and it's just like I don't know Jim Jordan himself like one of the like one of the leaders in the Republican Party in the House of Representatives it was literally a gym coach and women were, and like young girls were like assaulted under his watch. And like nobody, literally nobody cares. But apparently a single like 14 year old trans person going, like going into the stall and changing pants is way more of an issue to these people than like anything else that women can go through. Like being assaulted by their doctors or physicians or coaches or being taken advantage of or not getting any funding for, for their sports and not giving like a real, a real chance and being laughed at and being seen as just like the clown version of real sports, which is men doing sport. Like, what are you talking about? You don't care about men. In sport they never have never have and never will 
have caused massive amounts of disruption by toppling statues, shutting Base. down speaker events, vandalizing Base. artwork, and block. Ooh, that's. This is a climate change. By toppling statues, shutting down speaker events, vandalizing. Well, isn't it their. Well, what do you mean shutting down the speaker event? Isn't it your right to be able to go to a speaker event and then say something? Can you not say something at a speaker event? What do you what do you force to what they're allowed to speak when they're speaking? I'm not, I'm not allowed to speak. Is that is that how that works? Free speech is only when you're able to speak and I have to shut up when you're when you're talking. Why? Also, this was for um, climate change. Artwork and blocking roads. And the artwork was fine. And runways. Not to mention, Good. many activists are calling for violence against those that disagree. No, not the soup. No. <laughs> many activists are calling for violence. Look at this violence. The ke the watery ketchup. Violence. Isn't this the lady who's literally hanging out with a guy who got kicked out of the the UK's most racist party for making jokes about how he wanted to and how he would if the girl was hot enough sexually assault a fellow the, the fellow like um legislature candidate like she's she's like best friends with Carl Benjamin the guy who literally got kicked out of the House of Commons or whatever or kicked out of uh, his seat for running for the House of Commons for making multiple comments about sexually assaulting women but I guess like sexually assaulting women is way lower and way less of a problem than soup against those that disagree with them if you see a turf punch him in the f face these methods Bodied. of violence and disruption are clearly not helping the causes they are so forcefully fighting for. But despite that, they will not stop. But why? Let's begin with trying. What? What are you talking about? Wait, wait, here they Violence and disruption are clearly not helping the causes they are so forcefully fighting for. Is it not? Because you're talking about it right now. My my thing is that like. My the funniest thing to me is when conservatives are like your methods won't work. Your methods they'll never work. You know you'll 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 never get what you want. You see you need to change. You need to be more quiet. You need to be more respectful. You need to be more silent, and you need to follow the grain of society more. I know you're trying to change society, but you need to start acting within society way more. You'll never get what you want. Anyways, I'm gonna spend all day every day talking about exactly what you did talking about the reasons for why you did it and spreading your message by continuing to go over it like okay like i don't know you're talking about it right now i feel i feel like if they didn't do any of these things you wouldn't have anything to talk about or at least if you did you'd bring up something that's completely different i'm just saying that like if the goal was to get under your skin and to make you and make you look well it seemed like they it seemed like it worked quite well I don't know. There's big movements going on with black issues, this women issues, trans real. issues, climate change. Seem to be doing quite fine, honestly. But despite that, they will not stop. But why? Let's begin with trying to understand what the hell is their problem. And I don't mean their problem with society, because they have lots and we'd be here all night. No, I mean, what is... I did. Let's not talk about the reason for why they're activists. Let's talk about why they're so mean. Is that what you're going to say? their problem on a personal level. Yeah, these activists keep wanting to change society, but let's not talk about why they feel like society needs to be changed. And let's talk more about why they're so darn mean. Okay. Motives are irrelevant. So true. Why are people who think the system is bad keep disrupting it? that they are trying to solve by embracing the role of constantly offended activists. As I see it, just like with everyone else, this is about their search for meaning. They're looking for something to believe in, a higher calling. They already believe in something. That's why they're activists. They don't... When you're looking for something to believe in, you're not an activist. You're somebody who wants to be an activist. A vision that gives them purpose. Many people have traditionally found this in religion, in the belief in God, in their family and children. Relig people who are religious were the biggest activists. What are you talking about? Do you think that religious people aren't activists? Like, what? Pete, instead of being activists, people just used to be religious. Like, ever heard about the Crusades? The Inquisition? <laughs> I mean, you can, it's by, by definition, it's pretty activist, yeah. MLK, he was like his whole, like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> He's a preacher. I guess I guess religious people don't need activism. Activism. They don't need Activision. That's true. Because we they wouldn't be playing shitty games like Call of Duty. They'd be playing something based like Bible. 
Britain and even their community. But the traditional sources of meaning have become less and less attractive to young people in the last century for reasons too complex to explain here. So young people are more often turning away from ideas of family and religion and instead looking for meaning elsewhere. It also doesn't help that the concept of community has become quite rare in most cities. The collapse made even more rapid by COVID. So for young people today, community, instead of being created by proximity, is being forged based on causes and similar beliefs. Okay, but this was like, like the lockdowns happened for like a year and a half. And what are, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> what, what do you, what, don't, don't you think there's like a good reason to get... Like, I don't, I don't know what, what is this? I'm genuinely curious what this argument is. I feel like this would only be really, I feel like this would only be persuasive to stupid people. I'm, I hate to say, I hate saying stuff like that because I feel like it's really mean to the people who found something like this persuasive in any way. But when I think about it, like, what's the, what are you saying? Like, what, what are they saying? What, what are the, why, why are activists who have very clear goals or at least stated goals even if they're not super clear to you personally, stated goals be disruptive to society. Civil disobedience has been like a method of changing society and getting your, your voice out there because simply just sitting patiently and waiting for your turn to talk obviously hasn't worked because if it did, then there would be no need to be an activist because you didn't, you don't need to act to advocate for anything because the problems would already be fixed. You may not think that what they're advocating for is is like a real problem, but that doesn't mean that they don't because they are activists. They think it's a real problem. And so it, 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 does, it makes no sense to analyze activists on the framework of why are they so mean and they believe these things without thinking about, well, talking about the things that they believe and why they believe them and why they believe they need to go through these actions to get their stated goals done. And it's so weird to me because like religion back when religion was like incredibly ingrained like socially enforced in society there was so much there was so much activism there was so much activism like what what about like the early 1900s when it came to like the women like the the original feminist movement or 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 what about the 1800s when it came came to anti slavery and not, I'm not even talking about activism on activism. I keep saying that Acti activism on the sense of like left wing, like good left wing causes. There are like bad right wing causes as well. Like, 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 um, uh, what was it? Uh, daughter, daughters of Liberty and daughters of the Confederacy and moms against and moms against uh, miscegenation and moms against there was. Yeah, there was McCarthyism, you know, there's so much. Yeah, there's, and, and that was based on like religion as well, like religious people saying that Pokemon was is evil and satanic in nature. There's so much activism for, like all throughout time, mostly because society has never been perfect and never will be. It just that's why I'm like this. It feels like this just applies to stupid people. I only feel like a stupid person who thinks that the world that they live in is the only world that's really existed and don't really care about society or a societal like historical societal outlook about the world would feel compelled by something like this because other than this it just makes no sense all virtually thanks to social media but the very tool that's bringing these people together is also the tool that is consistently overwhelming them with catastrophic news warning them that people are dying and the world is that's going true. to end if they don't get up from their cheeto riddled sofas and do something about it this is not a drill because only they can fix the world's most complex problems. Frightened, anxious, and helpless, these people have hooked into online communities, bound themselves together, and come up with the only solution that makes sense to them. Activism. In some ways, activism- For one, I don't wanna shit on people who like get up, who find, who get up from their cheeto riddle desk or chairs or whatever, I guess, to go do something in the world don't you think that's cool don't you think it's it's cool that people get like activated and feel like they want to do something i feel like that's super cool i may disagree with what what you what you think or like or do but i think that's really i think that's really nice that you found something that gives you meaning and and you feel like you're making the world a better place i know i just think that you, like would she say the same thing if it came to like people who try to help homeless people find homes in, in their community? Would you would you say these stupid activists in their Cheeto riddled desks think that they need to get up and go help people? Like, yeah. And I wouldn't say helpless. 
working class people are not helpless. Working class people have never been helpless and working class people will never be helpless because we have each other and we are much bigger and stronger and more powerful than any group or people or ruling class that ever has or will exist. Never been alone and we've never been helpless. Individuals are, but that's why we don't do things individually. That's why we work together as people, as humans do. Them is an ideal solution for someone in dire search of meaning. Immediately, with very little effort, it offers the reward of causes looking to accept more people into the fold. An instant community that validates your fears, bolsters you in the desire to fix the world, and confirms that you and your voice matter. So it's no surprise that the foot soldiers of the various activist movements are so passionate, willing to sacrifice their time to stand for various causes, since the activism serves as a pseudo family, pseudo religion, and a pseudo career. Now, man, this is super fucking, have you never cared about and is this like a, a video from a child? Have you never cared about anything in your entire life? Can't you, I don't think it's, I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't like saying this, but bro, it, it ain't, it ain't that deep. Have you ever like, do you have a heart? Do you have a soul? Have you ever cared about another human being in your entire life? Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Has it ever happened that you've cared about another person to the point where you wanted to have their life be better? Have you ever wanted to go outside and do something about somebody who you see is getting harmed? Or have you never done that? Have you just been like, that's a you problem and I couldn't care less if you live or die. I mean, you can say that like, I, I couldn't care less if you live or die, but I think it's really nice that there's some people who do, who do care if somebody lives or dies. I think that's really cool, actually, that people care about each other. <laughs> and I don't think it has to be like, I need a new religion, I need a new family. They could have a religion and they could easily have a family as we've proven through literally the entirety of time. They could just think that things need to be different and I also don't think you know what activism is. This isn't all active. This is like, this isn't all activism is. Activism could just be talking about something. Activism could be you sharing, sharing information with other people on, on certain topics. Activism uh, could be you having conversations with, with the people you know and love. Activism could be you like going on just like a march. There's so much types of activism out there that isn't that isn't like this active. This is such a small portion of any activism that ever happens. And it's just so weird. It, I, I guess maybe this person has never had any real problems that, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe they, they've never had any real problems that are worth fighting for. They're just born like super lucky, never had a problem in their entire life. The society's never been like an issue for them. They're just, they can, they can just moonwalk through society without any problems. And so that's why every, it's, it's everybody, it, this is, it has to be everybody else's problem. And it's so weird and they can't understand why somebody would ever want to have the world be better. Now, in order to be successful in a- Actually, she's an activist. Like this person, this person, this baggage claim, this, per you're an activist. You know that, right? You, you, this video is a form of activism. It's a form of anti-woke activism. You're, you, you, you yourself are an activist. So are, do you have no religion? Do you no, have no friends or family? Is that why you're making this video? Is because no one loves you and you need, and you need to have some sort of community. So that's why you make anti-woke videos for people to like, uh, to people to validate all of your claims, all of your opinions, to tell you that you're so right. And you say exactly what, uh, what they've been thinking and everybody who you disagree with is so incredibly wrong. And you're in so incredibly right. Like all of these, t all, like all these comments with hundreds and hundreds of likes, is that why you make these videos? Because you need, because you have no meaning in life and you need to have something to validate your, the empty hole where your heart should be. Miss B baggage claim. Is that why? Curious, isn't it? career. It requires commitment, hard work, self-investment, education, negotiation, and more. But to be a successful actor in various causes, since the activism serves as a pseudo-family, pseudo-religion, and a pseudo-career. Now, in order to be successful in a career, it requires commitment, hard work, self-investment, education, negotiation, and more. But to be a is she Is she stupid? And a child? When... Who makes a career out of activism? What are you talking about? Who, how many people get paid out of activism? <laughs> I don't know. I went to the BLM uh, protest uh, in, uh, in, in Louisville. I, I, I didn't get paid for that. What, did, where, where are my sorrows bucks? Wait a second. Was I supposed to... Did, 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 uh, did, did I miss a number on my like, credit card and 
Soros uh, sent the money to the wrong guy? Because I, I, where's, 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 where's my money? I, I, I didn't make any money for being an activist, man. What the hell? Did you submit your timesheet? Ah, man, I forgot. Oh, man, that sucks. My money. Successful activist, all it takes is a willingness to show up and shout the enemy down. Almost makes one wonder why more people aren't activists when you add in the final and most valuable reward of joining, the great feeling of having the moral high ground. After all, they are in pursuit of noble goals like saving the planet and ending poverty and fighting for immigrants, trans rights, and movements like Black Lives Matter. The conviction that runs deep through these activists is rooted in the belief that their opponents, the people they are protesting, are despicable, controlling, and greedy. Race well, the people that they're protesting are usually also activists. Like it's activists versus act. I feel I find it so weird. Why are activists the only people who are like like these people are the activists? The other people who they're protesting against are also activists. You're an activist. Everybody in that comment section is an activist. The people who they're protesting are also activists. They're activists for something like that's the opposite or different than what these people are advocating for. Like you can't be. How do you get protested if you're not advocating for anything? If you don't believe anything or think anything or want anything to happen, how do you like how like what who what? <laughs> racist, bigoted and sexist and generally people who take joy in the misery and suffering of others. Simply put, their opposition are not human. This assessment of their opposition allows the protesters to justify relying on any means necessary to accomplish their goals. No, they are human and they must be stopped. They need to be stopped. They needed to stop a long time ago. If stopping traffic during a protest results in an ambulance unable to get a woman suffering from a stroke to the hospital, which leaves her permanently paralyzed, then the activists don't believe they need to see their hand in the woman's suffering. After all, they've been forced to stop traffic by the pernicious policies by their lawmakers. A woman who suffered a stroke in the car and couldn't get to hospital because the road was, was blocked. She was with a son who was helpless to help her and she's now paralyzed down one side and can't speak and doctors have said conclusively that had she got to hospital uninterrupted she wouldn't be in that state now so that was a direct result of your of your protest so let me ask you personally straight here what if that woman had been your mother would you still think you'd done the right thing if you put your mother into a basically into a coma I am finding all of this incredibly challenging especially being in this studio and talking about it but what I find myself thinking all the time is why after six weeks are journalists still focused on the what we're doing and not the why? Is it because oh, no, you must, you're heartless no, no, or no, no. too scared I, listen, to face the listen, truth, I, Richard? I, 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 so stop. Okay. True. 100% true. Also, did they, what, were they alerted? Were, were the activists, were the activists blocking the road? Were they like, did, did was someone like, hey, there's somebody in an ambulance who needs to get to the hospital. Did they did they know that that's what was what was happening, or was it just a consequence and nobody knew that that was actually happening besides the people in the ambulance? Because that's what it seems like was going on, and that's a valid question as well. Like, why are you only focusing on this one thing that happened and not what's was also going on? I mean, if, if that's the case, then why are you advocating for people for this not to happen? Well, well, what well, what do you actually care about then? Let's say, wait, if, if that's the case, then here's a little thought experiment. If that one woman would be paralyzed, but if the activist didn't do that, and, but if the activism that led to that, to let, that led to that, like, ambulance not getting to the hospital quick enough, also led to a company stopping putting chemicals in a certain community's water system that leads to other, that leads to 20, that would have led to 27 other people getting paralyzed. Would that be something that you would be okay with? Would you be okay with that? Would you say it would, yeah, sure. That would have led to less people getting killed. Yeah. It would have led to less people dying and getting like paralyzed, but the possibility of maybe stopping an ambulance, maybe, is not worth it. I just think that's like, what do you genuinely care about? That's my thing. That's my question with a lot of these people. Like, what do you actually care about? Are you just complaining because you like complaining? Or like, do you care about something here? Does something matter to you here? Do you have values? Or are you just like angry that people are doing things while you're not? I, I think that's a serious question. Why do you like, what's, what, what's, what's, what's your problem? Do these people think caring is cringe? There is like a large streak of people who think caring about something is like really cringe. Like having an idea, believing something, 
thinking that it's important and wanting the world to be better is like really cringe and it's lame and the only people who do it are cringe lame people who who are like losers because they're annoying and so yeah bad things are bad but people who care too much are like also bad and sometimes even worse so it's even it's cool to like not care about anything really ever because that's how you can make sure that you're never really cringe and never care too much because caring a lot is cringe there's that there's that there is that that is real and that that happens a lot and these people could be part of it it's yeah who knows i'm not sure traffic and air travel or crashing a person's wedding or disrupting a flower show process it through orange confetti at mr osborne the grand goblin well he deserves it i heard that guy's using goddamn like pumpkin bombs on on new york city in lower manhattan you can't do this to me you have no idea what I sacrificed. Oh no, orange confetti. <laughs> oh no. Why'd you say some person's wedding? Whose wedding is this? Is this is this a person who it can reasonably be protested, or was this some random person? Like why? It, it, don't you think it's so weird? This is a little. This is a little moment where we can do a little bit of uh, where we can. This is a moment where we, we can do a little bit of media literacy. Okay, partners, listen to this. A person's wife the Listen, truth, I, 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 so stopping traffic and air travel or crashing a person's wedding or disrupting a flower show or crashing a person's wedding being super mean and throwing things at a bride on her wedding day well who's the bride who's the groom why are they being why are they being protested against and what's going on i think these are all real valid questions that you need to be asking but I guess at the beginning, she didn't really want to care about why things happen. She's just mad that things happen that she doesn't like. And so things happening that she doesn't like is more important to her than bad things happening to other people who she couldn't care about. Or calling for physical violence against those that disagree with them all seem justified. After all, they're the ones with the moral. And Osborne security intervened. Okay. Wait, who's, is this the Green Goblin? Who, who is this? Does anyone know? Is the wedding of a conservative MP who made austerity in Britney? Oh, so this is a guy. So this is so wait. So it's not just some guy's wedding. It's a legislator's wedding who pushed to make poor people's lives worse. And in, in one of the largest countries in the in the whole world. OK, all right. So how about this? How about OK, let's reframe this. Let's say instead of activists crashing some person's wedding, let's say activists activists throw orange confetti at <laughs> at conservative politician who made poor people's suffering worse for his own personal gain it doesn't ring the same as this youtuber does it doesn't ring the same it doesn't give the same vibe that the youtuber did there don't you think Austerity is responsible for excess deaths of over a hundred thousand UK residents. It failed to achieve it failed to achieve its stated aims and was ultimately ideologically on Osborne's uh, part. Huh. So okay, let's reframe it. Activist who doesn't like that politicians uh, policies led to one hundred thousand human beings' lives being cut short throws confetti at him at his wedding as the smallest uh, as the smallest way to show disapproval for the way he runs the country and has killed hundreds of thousands of human beings it seems a little bit a little bit different it seems a little bit different why are these activists so mean why do you care about 100,000 people in your own country dying why are you so mean i prefer the shark framing i do as well high ground fighting for the rights of the vulnerable but we need to talk about the problem with activism like i just said activist fervor is fueled by the belief that Based. their opponents don't share their values that the only That's reason true. people oppose their activism is because they want to pollute the world or or want trans people to suffer or want black lives not to matter when the it's partly true and also and also it's not simply that black and white these don't agree with the stated aims of of the protest or it's even worse you do agree but you think they're doing it in a really mean way and so you decide to and so you decide to uh stick with the people who are doing the the societal harm because societal harm is 
better than being mean sometimes. The truth is that most people disagree not on what these activist organizations want to accomplish, but how they want to accomplish it. Because there's I don't think that's true. I actually don't I actually don't even think that's true. Usually what's happening is that people have everybody has stated um goals. Okay, so this is like once again, stupid, stupid idea from stupid people. Uh everybody like every people care about things. Okay. The the thing is people have a hierarchy of things that they care about. Was that the top of your list for things that you care about can be at the bottom of, of the list for a lot of other people. These activists, what they're doing, it's less of trying to get people to agree and it's trying to get people to move their their stated goals, aims, and hierarchy of problems to the top. Um, so, and trying to switch around their hierarchy of problems to have a specific problem be closer to the top for them to care more about, to spend more time worrying about. That's a lot of the points of what a lot of activists are doing, because a lot of people, uh, a lot of people do care uh, and everything, but it's just, it may not be like their top issue. Your issue, your top issue may be climate change. A conservative's top issue could be making sure that children don't get universal food in school that you know and <laughs> and they could care about climate change but it's really really low on their list it could be like way super far down on their list it's something that is just like a passing meme to them honestly you know and a lot of them also and a lot of them also disagree on both how it's done and and the stated aims as well I don't think that now I'm going to take a wild guess and I'm going to say that this person has some serious problems with the Black Lives Matter movement that are outside of of the two, like what, four or five percent of uh, protests that got that had any violence in them whatsoever. I think I think she has a lot more problems than just that, if I'm going to be honest, because if it was just that then you would just be on the activist side. The reason why I know that these people aren't actually they don't actually agree with the with the stated goals is because if you did agree with the stated goals, then you wouldn't care that much. You wouldn't make, you wouldn't spend all this time talking about two paintings getting messed up once or one or one, um, fountain getting met, getting like messed up for like 30 minutes once, or a little bit of paint on like a sign once or small pieces of orange paper sticking onto someone's suit once. Like you would care, you would care way less about this, but you don't. And so I feel like instead of you caring about, instead of you talking about the actual problems, because you feel like you'd be in like the, you'd be in the moral low ground or you don't have a good argument. Instead, you can argue against the way people are doing things. And then you can, and then you can get mad at that instead without having to actually talk about the real problems of the situation, because getting mad at a painting um, getting needing to be wiped down is way easier than getting mad at people for not wanting the world to to uh, to be the world's ecological systems being completely um, destroyed forever. You know, trust me, it's totally breathable. Hey, hey. Suggestions often do not account for unintended consequences. A great example of this is something I discussed in the previous video. Most people want trans people to get the care they need, but we. Do What's the care they need? What does that mean? When you say get the care they need, what are you talking about? Conversion therapy? What, what force, force, force therapy before, um, before getting any hormone? Like, what do you mean by get the care they need? Do you mean like act? Do you mean like trans people and trans activists version of get the care they need, or do you mean like conservatives get the type of care they need, which could range from conversion therapy to guns? <laughs> You know, do not all agree that hormones and surgeries, some with 51% complication rates are the way to go is. Okay. Wait, pause one second. Who's getting phallio? So many, so few people are actually getting phallioplasty. The most common complications are urinary, mostly comprised of UC visual and urethral structures associated with 51% urethral complication. Rate. Okay. You can't just say complication rate and say that like, Oh, the pussy falls off like com complication rates as in may need extra care and complication rate as in you die are like so incredibly different. Like, okay. Like how many, okay. Wait a second. Well, if, they, wait, 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 if this is the case, are you against knee surgery? Because 
recipients of knee replacement surgery and hip replacement surgery have a higher regret rate after getting uh, about their surgery than um than trans people do when getting gender affirming care so if that's the case my pussy fell off <laughs> <laughs> so if that's the case, then what are you against? Are, go ahead. Tell me. Are, tell me that you're against hip and knee replacement surgery because the complication rates are higher. And also the, uh, the complication, complication rates are higher. And also the regret rate is higher. So go ahead. Tell me. Tell me that. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear you. I'd love to hear you. I'd love that uh, for this person to make an anti knee replacement video soon. Oh, especially when it comes to children who are not equipped to make long-term decisions. What children are getting phallioplasty? <laughs> Let me know. Get back to me when you, when you figure that out, brother. But often these concerns are wrapped up and presented by the activists as transphobic or problematic with claims that these people don't care about the mental health of trans children. True. And thus, with the simple stroke of clever rebranding, any opportunity for further discussion is impossible. And now, here's the thing. We can mean two different don't care. You can mean, oh, they say we don't care, as in it's literally not on the list, when it could just be near the very bottom, if not at the bottom of the list. So I guess you could care, but it's just way lower than it should be, you know? Like you caring about trans people's mental, mental and physical well-being could be below you. Like, I don't know, getting a coffee today. <laughs> and the media, of course. Yo, wait. This is Zephyr. This is uh, this is Aaron Reed's partner. Is she not power couple? They do great work around the country. Love to see it. Wasn't this person almost forced out because uh, forced out of the legislature because they're trans and also not able to speak? in the legislature during their actual job because anti-trans activists cut their mic but hey listen this is the she's the activist not the people who are literally putting through laws against her okay leads this charge by creating echo chambers she works in the hall now polarizing one-sided reporting and manipulative algorithms by the way this is why i use ground news during my research ground news is Oh, I'm never getting a sponsorship from Ground News. If this is what Ground News sponsors, ew. Fucking ew. Okay. They sponsor this type of trash? Never mind. I got I got an email from Ground News. Yo, fuck you, Ground News. There's a reason why we don't have sponsors in, on this channel. We have higher values than that. Great to be supported by companies that have similar goals to the channel in wanting people to see willingness to find common values and solutions that work across the board and not just in idealized situations like expecting violent male criminals not to use loopholes to feign gender dysmorphia. Male rapist transitions before trial sent to all female prisons as transgender women. Who are these people? Who are any of these people? I can't. Can you give me... Can you give me who these people are so I can like fact check this or no, you're just not going to, you're just going to put up a bunch of random pictures and then say these, this is, this definitely is what happened. I'm going to tell you now with what I've seen so far from the way this person frames this, I'm going to believe that this is just a complete lie until proven otherwise. Wasn't that proven false? More likely than not. It seemed like this person loves lying. <laughs> and the fact that they didn't give you the listen understand this when somebody gives you when somebody doesn't give you any information for what they say in in the videos that they make understand that 99 percent of the time what they're saying is a lie because if they give you the information then somebody in chat then somebody in the comment section would tell them that they're lying and then it, and then that wouldn't look good source trust me bro at least put their names isla bryson 31 year old transgender woman was convicted of two r words the case caused controversy because Bryson was remained at a was remanded to a women's prison to await a sent, uh, to await sentencing, uh, though she was segregated from all the other prisoners pending a risk assessment, following which she was transferred to a male prison. The case was subsequently used to say that Scotland is evil against women or something. OK, so completely. OK. All right. Nice one. Anyways. All right. Good to know. Good to know. This is the this is the well actually of points. Morphia and get sent to female prisons where they can prey on more women. And that that's not possible. You can't prey on more women while you're you can't prey on women while you're segregated. I don't know. What about women? Do you wait? If that's the case, do you think that women rapists should go to like a like a special woman rapist prison? So because if they don't, they can prey on more women as well. 
you know women can commit a sexual assault as well right okay that's right. the benefit of discourse is that the opposing side can identify flaws and solutions that can unexpectedly create more harm this strategy of goodwill discourse is at the heart of any free society and it has led the development of the greatest ideas today we have the luxury of believing that all people are created equal slavery is morally wrong and freedom of thought has well, led the development of the greatest ideas today we have the luxury of believing that all people are created equal me me chilling out with my slave owner buddies well they literally did not believe that all people were created equal and also this is not a luxury and also also this was done by activists how make a whole video about how activists being violent is evil and then post and then post a picture of some of the most like well-known world activists who literally waged the war against the world's greatest government and navy at the time the revolutionary war is like the biggest activist bros were tarring and feathering people okay well i guess this is how you know that these people are always going to be on the wrong side of history because they're going, this person would praise like MLK. This person would praise like um, the revolution, uh, like uh, the, the revolutionaries. They would praise like the Boston Tea Party. And then they would get mad at, and then, hey, listen, did any normal people, did anyone who was sick not get medical care during the Revolutionary War? Anybody think that happened? What do you guys think? You think, you think that happened? It may, it may have. And honestly, that's why I think the Revolutionary War and the Civil War shouldn't have happened because they should have just allowed um, slavery to continue and allow the British to rule the Americas because um, activism is just too much work and it's you shouldn't do it. <laughs> How like I will never listen. I'm going to tell you this. If you're like 70, if you're like 1776, America is the greatest country to ever exist. I never, ever ever want to hear you talk about how act like v activism um even when it can get violent is bad it's li that's literally what our our founding fathers are heralded for for doing vi for like waging a war that was their thing they're famous for waging a war and winning watch listen i'm going to tell you this now in like in like 50 years there's going to be videos from like these types of people who are going to be like we have the luxury now of knowing that we of, of knowing that trans people do deserve rights you're going to see it i'm, I'm promise you're going you're going to see it once it becomes like a, a non-issue and like it's already like gone and done like 50 70 80 years well once it's all gone and done for and they could like um and they could like pull back and be like well actually well since society's already here now we'll just like be okay with it i promise you it's going to happen it will happen it always happens all these people this person this person would be a monarchist this person would be on like the confederate side you know how it is this person would be like would be like let's not help england and europe with like the nazi invasion reactionaries agree with yesterday's radicalism true true it's not that they hate activism they hate activism today because yesterday's activism is done already and we already have good things because of that activism you would be against john brown like be honest like be honest with yourself for one second you would be you would say that john brown needs to like needs to be hung that's the type of person that you would be slavery is morally wrong and freedom of thought speech and religion are unalienable but for most of the history of human civilization these ideas were considered laughable. And even today, 50 million people are still enslaved. And many people continue to face religious, racial, sexual, and political persecution in the rest of the world. It has taken free and open discourse to bring about- War, activism, violence. That, that, that's what it took. <laughs> S slavery in America, it did not get abolished because of free and open discourse. Actually, the, the, the slave owners filed like did a revolt inside of the senate when the senate was trying to vote to stop slavery um and they had like fire pokers and metal rods and they started beating like northern senators to death because they wanted to like do away with slavery or at least limit it and the anti-slavery convention <laughs> 
hey buddy we're hello friend we're going to be having a debate on whether or not you should be tortured to death and sexually assaulted until you die um from 7 p.m to 12 a.m on thursday come down this convention will be great okay buddy love to see you there all right okay okay it wasn't it wasn't slavery abolished in the uk because they didn't want more black people there and also because it wasn't as profitable as it used to be no blacks no irish about the implementation of the freedoms we enjoy in the west today so why do activists struggle with this concept of discourse why is it their knee-jerk reaction to scream instead of discuss i do want to add that activists are not the only people who are guilty of this righteous yelling is an all too common tool that many from the left and the right use as an avenue to further their Hey, I know hundreds of millions, if not billions of I, I know hundreds I know hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are dying across the world, but can you like can you like lower your voice? <laughs> believe in their own sanctimony. But right now I just want to address this question in regards specifically to activists. And we have the partial answer, which is that yelling strips the other side of the opportunity to respond, as does marginalizing their state as Okay, it's their free speech to yell. Didn't you just say didn't you just praise free speech? It's their free speech to yell. Even even if that's true, because you can't yell forever, for one, it's not so it doesn't stop them from speaking. You can like you literally can't yell forever. And two, it's your freedom of speech to yell. You, what it, it, is it only freedom of speech when you use your inside voice? <laughs> ethical human beings as does denigrating their ability to think and provide insightful solutions you challenge. can't think activists don't want a conversation they want to engage in moral bullying this is wait how would it wait 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 how in the world are you going to get mad at people go wait this is it's it's on the screen is this, is this video made for stupid people is this a stupid person making videos for stupid people it's a public comment it's a public comment section they literally are taking turns speaking. Is she actually just mad that they're that they're that they're too loud? Moral bullying. <laughs> uh, stop morally bullying me. Is she actually just mad that they're loud? It's a, it's it's public comment. You can say whatever you want up there. That's literally the point of public comment for you to say exactly how you feel. And if you scream, that's literally your time. Also, justice for Banco Brown. Let's see. The killing of Banco Brown. The killing of a black unhoused transgender man by a Walgreens security guard in downtown San Francisco has uh, has drawn virtually none of this kind of attention. Okay, so let's say if they didn't yell, let's say like hypothetically if they didn't yell, 12 more people would have been murdered. Would you have been would you say that that's okay if they got murdered because it's better not to yell than it is to yell? because yelling is worse than murder or i guess like it's more disagreeable <laughs> or at least it makes you want to like sh not pay attention to them this kumbaya yeah uh, yeah kumbaya centrist true this is why when activists are challenged hear it, with true. facts or asked to back up their claims they often rely on tactics like name calling since they don't so want mean. to discuss the ideas because they are full okay then um okay then baggage claim i Formal announcement, formal ask. Come on stream and debate me then. Go ahead or talk to me. It doesn't have to be a debate. We could just we could just share some words. If that if that's how you feel, then come on. You just open invite. Just come on stream. Just send me a DM. You got you got Twitter, you got a bird app. Wait, let me see. You got a YouTube. Just go ahead. Just just you know hit me up. Send me a message. You got a Discord. Come on. Sky I I'll re-download Skype. If that's what you if that's if that's what you say, if you're like, they'll never that's why they never come on then. I'm an activist. I've I'm I've been listen, I'm a part of I'm a part of my local Antifa. Got the sticker. I got the sticker right here. Right on my laptop. So like now what? Now what? Come on then. I threw the milkshake at Andy No. This to is, choose between heating this, this and is, eating. People are dying. Are you hearing me? Because it's simply not true. The government introduced a cap on energy prices and support for families. Uh, 2050 target adds costs to consumers' energy bills. E e economists warn. Net zero? Oh no. Because it's simply not true. Heating this, this and eating. This, they don't want to discuss the ideas. Because they are forced to is, choose between heating this, this is, and eating. This is People are dying. This are you is, hearing me? Because it's simply not true. The government introduced a cap on energy prices and support for families who couldn't afford energy prices. Okay, is, is, was the help completely sufficient? Did no one have to worry about 
the price of their like the the price of food and the price of heating like just because yeah four <laughs> five head just because they did that doesn't mean it's enough you can say like in america people had a lot of trouble paying for things during uh lockdowns but you can go well actually that's not true because um the government gave through the stimulus checks okay people were out of work for months and they got two thousand dollars for many for a lot of people that's like more a little bit more than one month of wages okay there's there could very easily still be people who are suffering and can't pay bill like just media literacy guys what they want is to constantly maintain the right to moral grandstanding. That those were brought in last year and they are very significant What do you mean it's not true? Have you spoken to an ordinary well, person who is suffering the cost well, of I, living crisis I right now? I don't believe there's any such thing as ordinary people. I believe everybody is in their individual way quite remarkable. I think... Oh, what? How? Fuck... Uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> um, well, and nobody is actually. Well, actually, everybody is very. They're very special. Just shut. Just answer the. What? How? Is that an actual? Did, <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. What? What actual? Ugh. Well, actually, everybody is super special, and I think all the. And I think this, like, what one person when they are not able to eat. It's the feeling of hunger of, of like your stomach eating itself is actually slightly different than another person starving. You never actually know what it's like for other people to starve because you don't have their tummy now, do you? Pink haired bitch. <laughs> Got him. It's so true. Activist bodied. They'll never they'll actually never recover from this. Ordinary people is the most condescending way of referring to our fellow British citizens. Well, of course, you don't relate to the ordinary people. You're a millionaire. True. And their belief in their. True! And why'd you cut that off? Wait, wait, wait. Why? why, why? This isn't good argumentation. That, that guy didn't answer the real question. He just did a well actually gotcha instead of answering the real question. And yes, he can't relate to normal people because he's so abnormal own moral high ground is so deeply intertwined with their sense of self that any attempts to dismantle their arguments is met with severe retaliation. Because we don't by like attacking your kind their ideas, these parts. you are attacking their very soul. Faced with such a risk to their entire identity, they fight back with all their might, using insults, righteous reprimanding, and weaponized fragility. All of our it's children are in trouble. You have to stop this. Are you too scared, heartless, or are you stupid, S Richard? You've Do you that not understand? Five times Do you more. not I'm understand? I'm not stupid and I'm not heartless, and I don't really like being. Is this a? Is this a? Is this a? a a Tory? Because if he is, then all of those make sense and they're true. Patronized in that way. It may seem like activists. <laughs> this person makes me seem that if like somebody, if there was somebody who was debating if slave, if there was like a debate on slavery and one person was really mean and the other person was like super core, was really mean and they had on like a dirty shirt and the other person was like super proper and they had a nice haircut but the person who had a nice haircut was like a slave owner this person would be like you know the slave owner made great points <laughs> uh that person with the dirty shirt was came they were they were so disheveled and they just like the way that they yelled i just can't i, I couldn't possibly i couldn't possibly keep i just can't support that i can't support that are on the hunt for oppositional blood. But Me when really, I hunt. they are on the run. This is perfectly encapsulated in an exchange that happened between Jordan Peterson and an audience member during a panel back in 2019. I want to know, what is your answer uh, to young people for some of the really big uh, f uh, problems facing humanity, like the, you know... For one, uh, Jordan Peterson, by his very definition, is a, is a charlatan. He has, like, a degree in psychology and that's it like he's not equipped to comment on any of this stuff in a in a in a way that a professional would climate catastrophe like he's not qualified to give an expert opinion or like a honestly much super like super educated opinion on any of these things that she's going to talk about economic crisis like the precarious job market because they just don't like you talk all this much about uh individual responsibility most of us are never going to be able to afford uh to have all of these assets to have responsibility over so what is your advice That's true. beyond banal comments like clean your room well fundamentally i'm a psychologist and 
my experience has been that people can do a tremendous amount of good for themselves and for the people who are immediately around them by looking to their own inadequacies and their own flaws and the things that they're not doing in their lives and starting to build themselves up as more powerful individuals. And if they're capable of doing that, and then they're capable of expanding their career. And if they're capable of expanding their career and their competence, then they're capable of taking their place in the community as effective leaders. And then they're capable of making wise decisions instead of unwise decisions when it comes to making collective political decisions. Okay, I just want you to understand one thing really quick. He's not saying anything. He's saying the same exact thing that he was being criticized for saying like a moment ago, which is clean your room. <laughs> He's, he's 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 just saying clean your room but in like a long longer firm form version clean your room again has he said anything no he hasn't like she asked him do you have anything to say besides clean your room and the answer is no he's going to say he just said clean your room but again he literally okay okay I'm not suggesting in the least and have never suggested that there's no domain for social action domain I'm expansion that people who don't have their own houses in order should be very careful before they go about reorganizing the world, which happens in many ways. Activism, aside from providing all the- hmm? How's this version of anything? The person can't respond. If anything, this looks bad on Peterson because he, the person who asked him the question literally can't respond. They obviously disagreed and they obviously would have like said something back, but they actually can't respond because the format won't allow it. So how can you say activists won't listen when activists actually in the situation aren't allowed to speak? The perks I've mentioned provides the greatest excuse to avoid personal development and personal. Who's JP? He's the guy who dreams about his grandma shaving her pubes and um, brushing his face with them responsibility and because of the nature of cause-based community where people come together based on similar belief systems the individual misses out on being appropriately challenged and an opportunity to look within whereas a community of local family friends and colleagues is comprised of people from different backgrounds and experiences that can provide the challenge of ideas and perspective needed for individual growth but to be an effective activist who is willing to be at the front lines of every protest you you need to turn off the parts of your brain that can consider opposing ideas, that can look at the opposing sides of views and critically think through solutions, which is why activist groups. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? What's the problem here? Often push their members to reject anyone who doesn't agree with them fully and cut them out of their lives, leaving them surrounded by only like-minded people. Is that why conservatives are the ones who say that their family is leaving them all the time and how their children grow up to go known contact and they have no um, connection to their children and grandchildren anymore? Is that, is that why conservatives are, are the ones saying that and like the people who aren't are like, I, I love my family? <laughs> instead that's kind of crazy i haven't i haven't seen that on like uh the lefty side or whatever i have seen of uh, so many articles of conservatives complaining about how their their children grew up and they never want to speak to them again and they don't want their their children to have the same experience with them so they are they don't have any connection to their grandchildren anymore phenomenon only further exemplified by social media so behold for it is complete the perfect insulation of a perpetual activist an unchallenged unimpeded and an unstoppable force marching ever on in their rage against the world based and that's why activists are great you're right we will never stop we're activists that's the point we're not supposed to stop we'll only stop when we're dead or if the job is done and the job's almost never done Yes, that is the point of activism. You're not supposed to go home and stop activism. So like these types of people will like complain about two things. They'll just try to say that you never actually cared if it's like if you took the black logo off of your Twitter or Instagram account after the BLM protest uh, mostly died down. Or they'll say that you're like a bad person to begin with because you're you like you are activist. So you'll never listen to anybody. So you're mean and bad and dumb instead like so like which which one is it that's the thing you'll never actually win with these people because they don't want you to do that thing better they want you to stop speaking they don't want you to speak they don't want you to do activism they disagree with the activism in and of itself they may try to pretend that they don't but they do because if they did they wouldn't care about these 
silly squabbles that they try to pretend are actual problems because they're not actual problems. That's the point. That's why we watch the video, because I do think they're worth listening to, because these types of ideas are important to learn how to combat um, and how to stop and how to say something different against. Um, and I think that's really important. So that's why we do these types of things. That's why we, uh, we do debates here and there to and fro. And yeah, it's just dumb. This, I just I, I really didn't want to go in and be like, this is stupid and you just seem kind of stupid. But like, guys, I'm sorry. It, it seems kind of stupid. All, all like the questions that were being asked do seem pretty stupid. Am I wrong? Would it like? I, I I would love to know your thoughts on this. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.